very good morning to all my kids welcome to my online e learning classes student uh, myself richa shrivasa i am your science teacher i am taking chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe so on page number 24 and 25 two tables are given and that are some diseases uh, uh, some diseases occur by the microorganism in the animals and diseases occur in the plants which are done by the or which are spread or which are caused by the microorganism so in table uh, the first table having uh, the disease name the causative microorganism the mode of transmission and their prevention in a similar way the table 2 also have the disease name the causative microorganism the mode of transmission and the picture image so without any delay let us start today's video children and if you have any query and any question related to the topic please ask me uh, don't hesitate children because this video is only for you so for better understanding please keep learning and keep uh, reading the chapter and please ask me if you have any question so let us start today's video children so today on page number 24 i'm going to start a um, topic that is in the form of uh, table actually table number 2.1 some common human diseases caused by microorganisms so this is the table children here you can see 1 2 3 4 columns are given first column is of human disease second is of causative microorganism third is mode of transmission and fourth is preventive measure so in first column human disease there are uh, the names uh, the names of the human diseases are given in the first column in the second column causative microorganism the name of the microbes which is responsible for this disease or these diseases are given here in the second column third column mode of transmission how, the medium by which they uh, they spread okay so you can see here the medium air water food these are the medium by which they move or they spread from one place to another from one animal to another okay the fourth uh, column preventive measure means how we can prevent uh, these diseases how we can save ourselves how we can uh, what are the methods by which we can save ourselves from the diseases so let us start this table so first disease name is tuberculosis second measles third chicken pox and fourth polio so tuberculosis tb measles chicken pox and polio measles and chicken pox are the same type of things but uh, measles having very fine uh, very fine uh, small small type of rashes okay and chicken pox the there are so many uh, we can say um, p like p like uh, jo uh, p like uh, structure are actually p like structure are grown on our skin and uh, they contain a liquid inside it so these are the chicken pox they both are uh, of same kind of disease now polio polio you know the pulse polio uh, campaign remember that campaign uh, by the help of polio campaign the so many children are saved from this disease okay so in polio the children or the person uh, having disability to move properly and their legs become disabled they become very weak thin and they cannot hold the whole body weight so this is a polio disease now the causative microorganism or the thing uh, these diseases the responsible uh, microbes so tuberculosis is spread by the bacteria the causative microorganism is bacteria measles virus the causative microorganism of measles and chickenpox both are virus polio is also 
caused by the virus now mode of transmission so mode of transmission is what how they move the what is the medium so for tuberculosis air is the medium they spread by the air by the uh, by the help of air they move or they uh, they spread from one person or a healthy person to another uh, person okay so measles measles are spread by the air as well as with the help of uh, manual contact okay chicken pox also um, spread from the air or by the contact of a people polio air and water via air and water now what are the preventive measure so keep the patient in a complete isolation isolation is very important for these kind of diseases it, we have to uh, make a distance from that uh, ill person okay and we have to keep that person in a separate place in a separate area keep the person belongings of the patient away from those of the others means the person the person who is suffering from these kind of diseases their belongings like their clothes like their brush tooth toothbrush like their glass utensils glasses plates their uh, towels we have to keep these things away okay and vaccination to be given a suitable age vaccination is very must and at the proper age the vaccination should be provided okay now the next disease human disease is cholera and typhoid and the causative microbes are bacteria both the disease having or spread by the same microbes bacteria the responsible microbes are bacteria now the mode of transmission for cholera is water and food and the mode of transmission for typhoid is water now what are the preventive measure so maintain personal hygiene we have to keep ourselves clean and neat personally and good sanitary habits okay consume properly cooked food we have to take properly cooked food and boiled drinking water vaccination is also very important part okay so personal hygiene and uh, neat, uh, neat, neatness and cleanliness personal sanitary habits good sanitary habits uh, we have to take a properly cooked prepared food and drink boiled water and provide and available uh, vaccination uh, to keep uh, to make a vaccination available for the person now the next is hepatitis a the causative microbes is virus the mode of transmission is done by the water with the help of water and the here the preventive measure so how we can prevent ourselves from hepatitis a so we have to drink boiled drink boiled water and vaccination is also the important part okay so this is all now the last disease is malaria and the microbes which causes malaria is protozoa now the now the mode of transmission so mode of transmission how they spread how the malaria spread protozoa causes malaria but this malaria spread by the mosquito via the mosquito now the preventive measure use mosquito net and repellents spray insecticide to kill the mosquitoes control breeding of mosquitoes we have to know that mosquitoes are developed into the water they breed into the water so we uh take care that take care of this that the collection of water should not be there in our surrounding okay so this is the most important thing now some of the common disease affecting humans their mode of transmission and few general methods we have already discussed here in table 2.1 now disease causing microorganism in animals here several microorganisms not only cause diseases in humans and plants but also in other animals okay so here the picture is given that is the picture of robert koch discovered who discovered the bacterium bacterium is a singular number bacteria is the 
plural version okay so bacterium bacillus anthracis which causes anthrax disease now this is the homework for you children you have to find out what is anthrax you have to find out what is anthrax disease okay now for example anthrax is dangerous anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease caused by the bacterium for um, food and mouth disease of cattle is caused by the virus okay now disease causing microorganisms in plants several microorganisms causes disease in plants in plants rice wheat potato sugar cane orange apple and other other type of edible things okay so many types of microorganisms are there who uh, who are responsible to create to uh, who are responsible for the different diseases in plants like wheat rice potato sugar cane orange apple and others uh, now uh, we have uh, understand we understood this thing that so many a uh, type of microbes which causes or which spreads diseases in animals in humans and in smaller type of micro microorganisms but there are certain microbes or pathogens which caused disease in the plants also okay so now the disease reduces the yield of crops here we are going to study about the disease in the plants so as the disease uh, decreases the work efficiency of a human being and the immunity they decrease the pathogen decreases the immunity power of the humans as well as of the animals similarly the the the, the microbes or pathogen uh, which are which causes disease in the plants they decrease the uh, production they decrease reduce the crop production okay because the plants are not healthy so they if the plants are not healthy they they do not they could not uh, able to grow more more vegetables or healthy grains so the the production will also decreases okay now table 2.2 is here in which we are going to discuss some common plant disease caused by microorganism okay so this is the second table of today's video here four columns are again given first column have plant disease second column contains microorganism and third column contain mode of transmission as in the previous as of the previous table and the last column having picture so let us start the description of this table so plant diseases like citrus cancer this is done or the causative microbes is by bacteria of the citrus canker and the mode of transmission is air they spread they uh, they spread via medium air this is the picture children you can see citrus means all the uh, limes oranges these are the citrus fruit and the disease citrus canker occur in the all citrus fruit okay now the rust of wheat this is done by the fungi this is the causative uh, microbes fungi and fungi uh, causes rust of wheat rust means uh, like a uh, rusting of iron similarly rusting of plants especially the wheat plant causes the powdery they they become the stem become powdery the uh, grains the grains become powdery so they damage they dam these fungi damage the grains okay now the mode of transmission is air and seeds okay see the picture and the last one is yellow vein mosaic of bhindi or okra okay yellow mosaic vein mosaic right so see the positive microbe that is virus and the mode of transmission is insect okay so all type of insect which sit on the bhindi plant or okra plant they causes the they spread the mosaic yellow vein mosaic okay 
so this is all for today children i hope you all have understood if you have any query related to any uh, point or any topic please ask me but remember this these two table is very important so make a tick mark and write down the important here these two things are very important so you have to learn it by heart these are the important part of the question okay now thank you watch, thank you for watching this video stay home and stay safe